So I'm in this SUV and she's screaming at me, clawing at me, calling me names, threatening me. The husband is just making eye t- contact with me in the mirror. And it it literally felt like a movie. I swear to God, I've never had another moment in my life that felt like this, but I was so certain I was going to die, right? And the reason I say that this is kidnapping is because they were so forcible about me getting in their vehicle. They used all kinds of persuasive tactics to get me in there and like guilt me into getting into their vehicle. Also, when I pulled on the handle of the door, when I pulled on the handles of the doors, they had put the child protective locks on so I couldn't get out. The other thing was, the other thing was, this was where like my stomach sank I realized they had stolen my cell phone. So I had absolutely no way to let anybody know that I had literally been kidnapped by people that are scary, that I don't even really know their real name. There's no proof that I work there. Like no one would have known what the heck happened to me. I really felt like I was about to end up in a ditch on the side of the road. Like legitimately, these people are those kind of people. So the husband's like tearing down these back roads, doing like 70, 80 miles an hour, like in the rain, crazy. The woman is screaming at me that I am the B word. I'm a little C word. She's like, you think you're gonna destroy me? Clearly what ended up happening was the girl that I had befriended that you know me and her were having it out for the manager job. She had stolen my cell phone and told them what was on my cell phone, which was all this proof that they had been giving people medicine to dogs, that they had been giving fish, you know, antibiotics to people who had been getting bit and not filing bite reports. And I, okay, I forgot to mention this. I forgot to mention this. They had clients that were paying like a thousand or two. I don't know. It was a lot of money. Whatever it was, it was a big number. And they, what was included in that price was your dog was getting like personally walked like three times a day, getting their personal meals three times a day, you know, their own little like playtime, personal play, like, like really customized care, right? What they did though was they built behind the front desk, there were these two like, there were these two doors and when you go through the doors they had somebody come in and build cages that went to the ceilings they stuffed dogs in those cages all day long and then she would get on the radio if she saw the owner pulling up in their vehicle coming around down the road she would scream and threaten us if we did not get their dog into the play open playroom or get them outside to look like they're having fun that we were fired it was constant like constant fear that we were living and that we were going to be fired right that was just another part of it was that that was another thing she was doing and i had taken pictures of the dogs in the cages especially of the people that i knew that were paying a lot of money so she starts screaming at me you think you're gonna ruin me i'm gonna ruin you 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 know you're young you have no idea what, what you're getting into like really threatening me and at the time my husband was like my husband was doing this sort of like internship thing for the city and you know was just starting his career sort of and the husband the husband owner looked in the mirror and was like yeah we could totally get your husband fired so they had installed cameras in the play place because they had people that spent the night with the animals overnight that was part of like the fee that they charged that was what made it like special they threatened to tell my husband that they had me on camera sleeping with one of the male employees, which I wasn't really afraid of because it didn't happen. But it like, what an awful thing to threaten, right? Tearing down these back roads, screaming at me. They know all about everything. They saw everything on my cell phone. I think to this day that I think they chucked my cell phone somewhere. I tried to call the phone company. I told them it was an emergency, like a 911 emergency that I had just been kidnapped and I needed them to trace my phone because I needed my phone for evidence. No one, I think it was Verizon at the time. They would not help me at all and my phone ended up dying and I couldn't find it so I never got any of that stuff back so then we start rounding the corner and I start seeing my apartment building in the distance and then they pull this <laughs> 